Welcome to the tutorial on basic video editing using Blender. In this tutorial, we will learn to adjust the interface to see the time panel, display the waveform for an audio strip, zoom in and zoom out on the media strips, cut a video strip, select multiple strips, Delete part of the video and audio. Remove gaps and insert gaps and trim a video clip. We will also learn about few shortcut keys. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 18.04 OS and Blender 2.90.1. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Blender interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and use them while practicing. Linux users can open the compiled Blender file using the terminal. Windows users can double click on the Blender application to open it. I have opened the Blender interface. Click on File Open to open the saved Blender project. The Blender File View dialog box opens. I have saved the Blender project in my Videos folder. From the Videos folder, choose first project.blend file and click on the open button. The video editing interface opens with the media strips in the sequencer panel. Place the cursor between the sequencer scroll bar and the menu below. The cursor shows a two direction arrow. Hold and pull it up to show the time panel. Notice the three menu options on the interface. They are on the top, in the sequencer and in the time panel. When you practice, watch closely which menu is being used. I will not mention them separately. I will revert and resize the panels on the interface. Click on the green audio strip in the sequencer panel to select it. Click on View from the options and select Waveform Displaying. From the submenu options, choose Waveform On. The audio wave is displayed on the strip. This is useful while editing videos since the audio waves are visible. Let's zoom into the video strip. Place the cursor on the video strip. In the sequencer panel, use mouse scroll wheel to zoom into the video. Use the scroll bar seen below the panel to scroll left or right as seen here. Notice that there is no audio for about 4 seconds. Video also has an error in this part and I want to delete this section. Place the playhead or cursor around the 34 second mark. Playhead can be moved using the sequence header. First, let's select more than one strip. Click on the video strip to select it. Hold down the shift key and click on the audio strip. Notice the subtle color change in both strips when it is selected. Press K to cut the video and the audio. This is called a soft cut. Both audio and video clips are cut at this position below. The cut option is also called as blade in Blender manual. Now move the playhead to about 38 seconds as seen here. Make sure that both the strips are selected. Press Shift and K keys together to cut the video. 
This is called a hard cut. Now we have three video and three audio clips. I want to delete the middle sections in the video and audio clip. Select both the middle cut clips. Press delete to delete them as seen here. I will demonstrate the difference between hard cut, soft cut and trim options. Select the video clip on the left side. Click on the right end of this clip. The short white region is the handle which will allow us to resize or trim. Click, hold and drag on the right end of this clip as seen here. Move the playhead over this region. Notice the cut part of the video reappearing. I will revert and leave it in the position as before. Notice the four direction arrow while moving the clip. Choose the right side video clip. Click on the left hand of the clip. Hold and drag to left over the gap. Now the last frame repeats on the end. Due to the hard cut, the information on the cut frames is lost. I will revert and leave it in the position as before. Next, let's learn the trim option. Select the video clip on the left side. Click on the right end of this clip. Hold and drag it to the left a little. The video in that region gets hidden. It does not get deleted. This is the trim option. We can recover the video by clicking on the arrow and dragging it to the right. I will leave it as it was before. Pause the video and practice the following. Move the playhead position towards the beginning of the video. Notice the first three seconds of the video can be trimmed. Practice the trim option here. We can fill or remove the gap between the clips in different ways. Select the video clip on the right side. Left click and hold to see a four direction arrow. Move towards left till it touches the video strip on the left. Let's move the video clip further to overlap on the left side clip. Try to overlap the right video on the left video. The program automatically pushes the clip to the right of the left clip. The gap between the audio clip is unchanged. Hence, press Ctrl C to revert or undo the change. Place the playhead on the gap. Right click to open the context menu. Click on the remove gaps option. Notice the gaps removed in video and audio. Pause the video and practice the following. Place the playhead on the clip on the left side. Practice to insert gaps and also remove the gaps. Knowledge of shortcut keys are useful and essential for video editing. A few shortcut keys are shown here. Please study them. Press Ctrl S to save the project. Click on File, Quit to quit Blender. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about the time panel, displayed the waveform of an audio strip, cut a region in a video file, removed the gap between video clips, trimmed the video, and learned few shortcut keys. For assignment activity, please do the following. Using the edit.webm video file provided in the code files link, trim the video for 5 seconds from the end, cut the region between 20 and 25 seconds in the video, and save the project. The file provided for assignment is downloaded from the site shown here. 
You may also use a video of your choice. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.